everyone, it's Robin. I have a project to share with you, a tutorial of just some uh, quick party favors or a hostess gift or um, even just a home decor project for Christmas can be adapted to any holiday. Uh, I'm doing these in advance for Christmas as uh, just little gift um, uh, ideas uh, for party favors. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. You can do these in any size. I'm going to be using a 6x6. Six six. You'll want double-sided paper. That's the only thing. Um, I'm using the Holiday Collection Home for the Holidays and Winter Wings from Webster's Pages from a couple years ago. Really, really pretty papers. And um, it's going to be like a cone or a nosegay type of, a, type of an item. Um, not quite a tussy mussy because I, I always look at those as being round and this is more of a just a cone. Well you'll see. Uh, so this is the paper that I'm using and so what we're going to do is score it in half diagonal and I don't have a diagonal plate for my uh, Martha Stewart trimmer so what I'm going to do is just I uh, used a sharpie and just drew a line in one of the valley areas uh, so that I can line it up. And let me see if I can get the whole thing in here. Okay, so you're just going to score from uh, tip to tip. And I just use a stylus for that because I like to try and get it really close to the tip. Okay, so you can see that. Let me just go ahead and score this. My bone folder. Okay. And then I'm not going to get rid of this just yet because uh, what you're going to do next is you're going to, you can see the score line here. And I shared this tutorial, boy, it's probably been a year and a half, two years ago. And I'll go ahead and link it down in the info bar. Um, but it was for a kit club uh, design team that I was on. So um, I thought I would just kind of revisit it and uh, do the tutorial again. And I think I did that one at, yeah, it was a nine inch uh, piece of paper. And this one, of course, six by six. So um, basically, you can refer to that as well, <laughs> just for another idea. But so the, the valley, you'll have a valley side facing up. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick a corner uh, that's, you know, this one or this one on the scored side uh, as your decorative part, and you're going to fold that down. So I like this side. So let me go ahead and with my valley side facing up, I'm going to, here's my score line. I'm going to just take and fold down a couple of inches. It doesn't really matter how much. It's just a matter of preference. And I'm going to put the tip of my paper here right on the score line, the center score line. And so you can see how that works. Okay, and then I'm just going to, again, burnish that score line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the flap side and put flap side down. And you'll see there's a point right here and then, of course, the corner, my flap being here. And I'm going to take and line this up on my scoring uh, track. And I'm going to put a score line from here down to here. Okay? I hope this is making sense. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. It's a little too much. Okay. Um, but I think you get the idea. So I'm just scoring right down the track here from this point to this point. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I should have actually had this folded the or flipped over so my uh, valley or my bumps are going the right way. <laughs> All these technical terms. I'm a little out of practice with tutorials, so just please bear with me. Um, haven't done one in a little while. Okay, so then I'm just going to fold these back and burnish those. And then you can see how the cone is beginning to form. So I'll just. Okay, so now I'm done with my Martha Stewart score tool. I can get that out of the way. Okay, so um, what you're going to do now is you're going to just add some score tape to either this side or this side. And I'm going to go ahead and set this one aside because I've already done that. See, here's my um, corner folded down and my score flipped over. Okay. And so here's my, let me just pull the liner off my score tape. I'm going to fold this side in and then fold this side over. Okay. So, and then it ends up with this little cone shape with a decorative front on it, a little flap. And you can add a lot of different things to this. And then you can see how it um, 
You can just fill it with just the little party favors or a little gift with tissue paper in there. Uh, jewelry, anything would be really cute in here. So what I'm going to do first, I want this one to be hanging. So I'm going to go ahead and add holes to this side and this side using my crocodile. And I still have that set at half an inch. I'm just going to stick it down in there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so you can see these holes here. And then I'm going to take some of the uh, seam binding from Wild Orchid Crafts and I'm going to use that as my handle. So um, I'm going to fiddle with this for just a second and if it's giving me trouble I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of it off camera but I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick this down in here. Now if you're if you're adding something uh, heavier like uh, candies or something you can add eyelets to these holes but I'm not adding anything really heavy so I'm not going to worry about it and then if you don't feel like you want to tie a knot you can always just tape the flap or tape the little um, ribbon edge down in there but I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot on this side and then I'm going to double knot it actually and then we can decorate it however you know however you want I'm just going to keep it super super simple because I'm going to be making a good number of these and um, just in case, you know, I'm going to do this blunt cut. Just in case, I think uh, a little bit later after the tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and tape this down anyway. Just, just in case um, there's any weight, you know, from hanging. I don't want this not to come out because it is seam binding. It doesn't really get very bulky, so I don't want it to go through the hole and then end up falling. Okay, so let me figure out how long I want my um, hanger to be. I think that's about good. So I'm going to give myself quite a bit more to make the double knot. Cutting this on an angle so that I can feed it through uh, from back to the inside of the cone. And tuck it in there. Okay, and I'm just going to double knot this. And then we can just start decorating. I'm not going to fill it on screen here because um, I have to bag the candy up still. Just the different little goodies. And like I said, you can do these to any theme. Uh, I think the last time I did it, maybe I gave it as a birth birthday gift. Um, I can't really remember. It's been a couple of years or a year and a half at least. Uh, but like I said, I'll link that down into my um, the bottom bar so that you can see it. Okay, so here is the handle. Okay, looks a little bit long, so maybe I'll go ahead and shorten that. And I'll just triple knot it. Um, no, I won't. <laughs> I decided to make its own knot. So again, I apologize. This is not my best tutorial, but it has been quite some time since I did a tutorial. So uh, thanks for being patient with me. I appreciate it. Okay, so let me just cut this, and this looks a lot better. I and mean, again, I'm going to tape this down so that it won't um, it won't have any risk of pulling loose unless the paper tears. So here is the cone that we have so far. Let me go ahead and get started decorating it. Now you can use a lot of different um, embellishments on here. Um, I didn't have any, what I would prefer using is one of these burgundy uh, gardenias in the small size, but I didn't have it because it matches perfect uh, because this is, they're both from Alderica Crafts. Uh, but I didn't have it in the small size, so what I thought about doing, I have these this mixed pack here, and I just took one of these uh, ivory ones, and I painted it with the um, Autumn Maple Crimson Lindy Stamp Gang Spray. I just painted it on the leaves and it turned out really pretty. It's still wet though, but we what I could also use is a carnation, or let me see what else do I have here. Uh, you can just add bows to it. It just really there's you know it's just possibilities are endless. But I think the carnation might be a little bit small for what I'm wanting to do. But the color is perfect again from Wild Orchid Crafts, so all the colors are coordinating. Um, let me get this stuff out of the way. So I'm just gonna. It's still a little bit wet, so hopefully it'll not have trouble sticking with the hot glue. I'm just going to add some hot glue to this, okay, and I'm going to stick it right there in the center. And you know what else I think I should do is maybe add a little bit of 
no it might be too much if it was a bigger cone like if I was doing an 8x8 eight eight or 9x9 nine nine, um, I think what I would do is go ahead and add lace all around here before I attach it together I think that would be really pretty and I did do some uh, edge punching on the other one that I did um, the other tutorial but you could add lace along here or tassels or something along the edging here you can, like I said you can decorate it to your heart's content <laughs> you know whatever you want to do with it but this is just to give you an idea of something you can do as a really quick party favor this is just an aster daisy and that comes in a package of 50 and then I'm using the deep ivory ones and let me stick one over on the other side over in here I'm sorry this is upside down to you Okay. so this is super basic and super simple and I'm not going to decorate them all just like this but I wanted to keep it simple on the tutorial basically I just wanted to share with you how you could make these little cones and they will hold the hot glue is still drying but they will hold quite a bit and of course the bigger paper that you use the um, the more stuff you can put in there but I just think they're perfect for adding like I said a little piece of jewelry uh, wrapped up in some pretty tissue paper and then you know tucked down in here or candies in a little cello bag or something uh, there's just a lot of different things that you can do and they just make it such a nice little uh, <laughs> fiddling with it such a nice little decoration and I think um, I'm gonna wait and um, uh, adjust the color here because I really don't want it to be this light so I'm gonna when I mass produce them I'm gonna get them more toned to the Bordeaux color because I just think it's prettier so um, and then you can also embellish with some of the bows now these are the uh, satin cream bows but you can had, add tassels or something to the bottom ribbon or just kind of randomly add some bows uh, you can add some rhinestones or some flat back pearls uh, really just whatever whatever you'd like to do whatever uh, however amount of time you want to make uh, creating them if you're mass producing but I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial I will have all the product codes in the info bar to the products that I've used on here today and then also I'll include the ones um, other suggestions I have them out here so I'll just include those down in the info bar just in case that you uh, liked a, a certain idea it sparked an interest for you so uh, thanks so much for watching, and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye-bye.